Genji to take. So they've got to be a little quicker or move back towards the site and make this a brief site take. Instead, it's going to be much faster as they look to fight on the site. Meteor good for one at least, keeping numbers in favor. But Dong, this man was impressive, able to constantly get behind enemies. But this time, he's taking them head on. Three kills already, and EDG are back in the round. A fourth just around the corner with Munchkin so desperately low. But Dong falls. Texture putting up one hell of a fight. Connections, another with the headshot on Smoggy. And nobody, 68 HP off to Texture creates some space to pop the reload. Back to six bullets. A bit more spam ability, and he's right in the corner. Only one shot, and he needed both to land. That is one to zero for EDG. That outball rings out, and you realize we're in a bit of trouble. I, I wonder if even an element of that is looking at previous ice boxes and seeing this wasn't a preferred weapon. With Kankan Kan down, that rifle can still be retrieved and, and used still later be on. Retrieved and, and used really, later on. You got to think about and really, damage. You got to think the name about of the game damage. Here. That's the name of the game here. Dwayne. We are going to see them building up we back into see towards this A-site again. Towards this A -site again. <laughs> nice work from Haodong to, nice to, to, to at least be able to find one. And in this 2v4 situation, it is not looking good. Meteor really needs to get something here. Really needs to get something here. And now Caron is the only one remaining. And one versus three. Try and turn this. They planted in an audacious spot. I guess expecting him to come around on the flank. This is one of these jewels faking out the sound. But now know exactly where he is. Needs to try and drop one of them. And Haodong is waiting on the other side. Great start to this map from EDG. Map, the reliance on texture. No escape available at this stage. So he's just going to have to run. And he will hightail it out. But there's been a catch in mid. Yeah, this is a big kill. Losing their utility. They're going to filter back in very quickly on the side of Genji to take that space. But well. the cost is massive. Two kills. Directions. Genji would be blind to it. Up closer, Texture's already used his dash. There's no easy way out. And with the shot, not wow. hit! Nobody is punishing again and again! Lackey at the last man standing. Once the, the herald of this region. Hey, it was all we heard about again and again. Oh, wait till he steps on the international stage. <laughs> well, doesn't look too good in this one. There's a 1v4 though, so we'll give him a chance. Five. Actually commit to this, it looks like not soon enough. Texture has rotated in, and in fact, Karen's on the way to help out. It's gonna be a stacked site. And Munchkin at least grabs one. This is what we needed to see. And Texture now cancelled out completely. Yeah. Second time he's lost it, but he was given an opportunity. Nice shot from Meteor, though. Gonna go back in with the Sheriff. Still just means a one-for-one -one trade. But Karan starting to step up. This is like to look doable as he gets a second off the back of the Guardian. And now that Bladestorm, at least a couple of knives, should be online. Smoggy just waiting patiently. Little bro is going to give his position away, and eventually, finally, that knife comes through. The MasterCard Thrifty take back. Well, that hold's just now given up, but they're aware it could still be online. Instead, they're going to commit towards the B side Beautiful rather than going flash. to A, and it's worked out fantastically. Just Munchkin left. He's got some support on the way. Meteor just making it through the holes, but look who's right behind them. Nobody snuck his way in. And he's grabbed a quick double. The lead now convincingly in their favor. And with a lurk from Chichu, the final nails in the coffin for that round. Six to two. Oh, Chichu's at least been spotted, oh, no. but they don't react in time. A free kill for him, but not the follow-up. Meteor's at least able to keep this control as the lockdown now. Yeah, they still have the spike over on A, though. They are still going in this direction. Haodong needs to find something here, and he does. It leaves it down to just one player actually within the site. They have to go running in, though. Karan might be able to just ruin their day, and that's exactly what he'll do. Three kills. All command, and assumably the rest of the EDG squad will be following up with it. A full play towards the A site. And Lakia seems to be point of contact. It's nobody to find one with Texture down. Munchkin soon to follow, but EDG find a roadblock. Lakia just the one before he falls, as the defensive side is now locked out. Two versus three. Meteor, okay, he's caught nobody up top. The spike's still not planted, but Smoggy <laughs> finds both kills to close this one out. Eight to four. It's been an amazing map for EDG. Yeah, it's been tough so far. Like you said, that, that get going, Lackey, it's hard not to be drawn to. Oh, it. he's and, dead. Well, that's about as poor a start as you could get for the poor guy. He's got the one kill, no assists on the back of it, but his teammates Going to pick up the pieces here in the pistol. Already finding a lot of value is Meteor. That's and he's got great. backup for Texture. He's also not been off to a great start. A lot of whiffed up shots, but this one, it couldn't get any easier. There you go. Smoggy down. Nobody left. Time is on Gen G's side. This will be a impressive clutch, to say the least. 
He's got the first already. Okay, maybe there is a chance. A Meteor down below quickly shuts it down. They lost Meteor. They don't actually have any flank watch. He is just walking up behind them. This is looking like some of the freest kills he's ever going to have. Manages the first, but now he's just a nuisance and continues to be a flawless round coming out of the side bin. I don't know if Munch can caught the angle, but Kankan definitely saw him. And here comes that double flash, but he's managed to avoid both. And Kankan, you can't allow him to survive. And these sort of possessions just continues his aggression. Karam, the only one left. He does still have the spike. He's going to try and get the reps off, but Chichu picks him out of the sky. This drone's going to get so much information as well. Here comes the dash and the dash out of KonKon as well. He is repositioning and <laughs> caught falling out of the sky. Uh, Smokey's made it out. And actually, Karen goes down trying to kill him. Oh, no. That's too much. The HP is so much in favor of their opponents. I don't know how EDG are going to find a, a gap in here. Oh, Tex just kind of got lost a little bit. No cover either. EDG, or sorry, Gen G players tucked away. EDG make the call. They go aggressive to try and root these players out of post plant positions, but Meteor's got an angle, and up top, they've spotted that there's not one but two players ready to pounce. A good response. For connect, I don't think it did. Doesn't look like it. Player slightly out of the circle, especially with the height of it. Flash in deep, but oh, no, he already fine. saw him. Well handled to find the first. The numbers sit towards Gen G with the side under their control, and now the actual advantage. Close with that turret down. I mean, they've got a lot of control, but Gen G have to be aware of this. And even as the turret comes back up for a moment, it's too late. They've already oh. gotten past, and it's Con Con, the danger man. Now operator in hand, dash online, blade storm in the back pocket, and he's making his way forward. He's making noise while the rest of his team come in to fill the gaps, and the players spot it up top. Whoa. That's an ambitious way to try and take that fight. Munchkin's actually got an opportunity now, but Smoggy saves the day for EDG. Investment, I like it from Munchkin. He's going to play a close corner within this Viper's pit. I feel like they almost need this one just to keep their economy strong, and they are utility dumping already. Tex just going to pick off one, but so much util thrown in to clear him out. It's easier said than done, though. As he takes out Chichu along with it, nobody trying to clear this back line. Somehow, Khan Khan's found another. They may not get to use that ultimate at all, because they're being picked apart. It's left all on to Karam, but the time is ticking low. If he gets this kill, it's surely done, and it will be. But he's going to go down with it. That was meant to be an economy builder as they spam all their ultimates bar Why? He also doesn't know that someone's already crossed to the other side. So this this really is a very, very audacious oh! play. He's, he's dead. He's definitely okay. dead. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if that was maybe slight misinformation, but even still a filthy shot to open. The take in the meantime has come in onto the B site. Reef. <laughs> so what? No. A single bullet tapped and Chichu just ruins his opponent. They're not even going to get the spike down, and now this is a problem. Things become so much more difficult. The spam oh, through from no. nobody is so clean. And now Texture find three to try and save them. The spike is down. Nobody has already spotted him on the angle. There is no hope. EDG come through with a dominant victory when it comes to map number one. You need to see quite a bit from that double duelist. I right, Meteor and Texture, they are both insanely strong on these duelists, but oh, so is nobody. And he's going to go almost immediately. Does take one with him, though. Well, the Fnatic Classic finds one as Khan Khan. Information. This is a risky play, but he's cleared a lot of control. But it's up close, Munchkin, that I'm worried about. As the peak comes through. Nice connection down to 47, but Munchkin finding that kill keeps him alive for the clutch. The one versus two that he finds himself in at 3k to close this one out. And the first player he has to deal with is up in heaven. He hasn't realized that. And so that will be his downfall. For them. And they even still had a nade on the other side to deter them even more. Smoggy still got the stun in back pocket as well, but it's not going to be used till they dive onto site by the looks of things. How Dong spotted and now challenged oh, nice. by Munchkin. Good kill found, but it's Khan Khan that's returning. Like for like, oh, nade down nade. is perfect. It's uh, not going to be planted anytime soon. His way past around the back of the site. They don't know that just yet, but I like the idea to group up together and Karon before the heal even comes through closes the round down. How long is what? Look, they've even got the stun at the back, two flashes, a paranoia, like they have so much utility for this take in. Already though, great start. Meteor, even while blinded by the paranoia, is going to be able to find one, and he gets the second as well. The duel is finally coming alive, but here comes that showstopper. They have to back out. Caron 
He's going to TP left. to the other side of the map, but look how close nobody is. A flash just to try and catch him. He's going to be able to get the plant in, but look at where the rest of the players are. They've got to go sprinting to try and get back in here. It is oh. shaking from Chiju. I don't think it's going to matter, though. There's nothing they can do to stop this. It's a very peculiar round, and it ends with a Red Bull clutch. With that, you two, at some point in the round, before you go running in with 30 seconds left, this is disgusting. Yeah, no way you expect this. Reacting to it, <laughs> well, apparently is okay. easy enough. All right. Texture just tanked a shotgun to the face. chinchu has got a 50-50 if he checks left. He oh, oh, no! What? Oh, Munchkin! A chance for more as well. The shots didn't land, but well, oh. this, this has been a bit of an unusual start to things. EDG have the advantage in rounds, but not in this one. The man advantage oh was was to Gen G. Now it's just right about even with a rifle recovered by Lakia. Nothing else can be done. Lakia still having his tiger. Oh, he is going to be able to spot the man in the corner. How long though? Not stunned up. It doesn't matter. Even still comes back into the trade. Smoggy with his full belt of utility still online. Hasn't had to use any of it just yet. But instead, he's going to potentially just go walking through this smoke and Lakia. The man who was silent on the last map. Their attack, so this is already a, a pretty decent start from them. If they can keep things even throughout, I think they'll be quite content. Already a fantastic start. Meteor has been great throughout the series on an individual level. That's a little audacious, though. Oh. Trade out with the showstopper. We'll keep it in their favor, and Kanka just goes through. The movement's sublime. And now just looks to try and get a little bit more. The Rolling Thunder is going to leave Texture completely stunned up, but he hasn't been spotted. One bullet is all he needs, but Khan Khan's there again. A third kill for him already, and he needs the ace. He's going to look to try and get it hard, but he's completely blinded. Already baiting them out. A second flash, and there is no hope. I've seen that one before, Mitch, but it won't happen this time. Those players slowed down, sure, split, but they've already got players towards the site. Meteor's in position, teammates coming in to rally alongside him, and the retake attempt from EDG, it's not going too well. Kills swinging in favor of Genji, trade after trade, and a three versus two, and that's going to oh. even the playing field a little bit. It was so close to taking him down, but now Meteor in the right place oh. at the right time. He's going to clear out both of them. Back of a flash, a dash, now up close to the pit. And as Chichu thinks about going outside of it, that could be the end of his life if he did. It's all down to timing. He's won the first, but Good that's trades. all he gets. Yeah, really nice trades. Lakia was well aware. And in fact, Meteor almost gets to kill himself. Kankan, -kan, though, you can't give this man that much space. Quickly takes two. This round is starting to fall apart. They know exactly where Texture is, but can't quite connect onto him. The Tiger's going to go through, but he runs through on the other side. Into the 1v1, but it's still Khan Khan. They just can't deal with this man. Showstopper online for both sides. This should be an interesting one. It's right off rip. Both are you and Texture. A double kill, but there's still one man standing. Not anymore. This is Texture's round. Yeah. And he will take to find any space here is going to almost rely on a mistake. And what was it? You know what? The somehow Smoggy has made this interesting. It won't matter, though. He started this round, and he will end it. I'm around. And yeah, not as pacey, that's for sure. EDG still just toying with that map control. It looks like they'll be taking the fight eventually, and it's Khan Khan and Smoggy to find the openings. Heaven confided on where they're going. The spike is still in spawn, checking for a flank. And they're just waiting for Gen G to make that move to re-clear the space. Player spotted up close, stun is good. And he's only bought himself a second as that smoke fades. Chichu lands this shot. Texture on 45, in a lot of trouble. Emerging from the smoke element of what? surprise! How has he gotten all three? He was 45, now 15 HP, with nobody all alone. The frenzy up close in heaven. He has thread the needle beautifully for that one. And with Texture being on 15 HP, Biden, if he can speed his way through heaven, he might get the angle just after the plant. It all depends on where nobody's looking in the wrong way. Texture's got four. The pistol goes to Gen G. Two kills and dies. That could be enough. They've actually got a great read as well. Three players set up. Tiger through. Now there is a judge coming out from Card Card. The push through on the other side, but the trades have come in. Kept things in their favor. They don't expect Meteor to be here. Why would you? Another man pushing into mid, and Karen's there alongside him. Gen G could give themselves a massive boost if they could take this round away. And while Smoggy. Uh, blind spray is probably his best chance. He could stun all of them. 
true, but he doesn't want to give it away. It's a contact play into a judge. And he got the contact he was looking for. Ten. Somehow. We've taken Just a like detour. you and your scooter. <laughs> this city's a little confusing sometimes. The GPS doesn't work. Nice shot by Meteor. Doubled up on as well. The Outlaw putting in work. And before, we said it in the last map, when they've got pistols, they were able to upset a lot of opposition. But Gen G seemed to have a real handle on it. Never letting well, these disadvantages. Khan Khan is still like in a close third place, but those two have started to just completely run away with this one. But, you know, he's always terrifying. Guardian gets him a first. Now he's actually a couple away. One more kill, even if he goes down. <laughs> he's so quick with it. Plum is actually going to give him a showstopper, but he has to try and fall back from it. And actually, the defenders are going to use their own one. Khan Khan just found another one. Finally, it takes a bazooka to take him out. He's given some essence of hope for Haldon, but Tixi was blind. Was he, I don't even think he knew that he'd killed him. Here in pocket here. to help him out here. Smokes could be gone within a second because this man is just not missing. He's now one away from Texture, by the way. Both players have been unstoppable. Really slow play through middle to try to find a gap. They've not seen anyone in vents move towards heaven. Munchkin's in position. He's got one, but not the follow up. But Khan Khan has another challenge. It's Meteor Zop that's come through with a dash still online and a player sitting down below. That's Lakia, who seems to be destined to close this round out. There it is. Not just the round, but the map with it. A 13 to 5 statement. That seems to be the plan, Tom, but there could be danger here. Still a trap on site. It gets destroyed and the cam's gone. A lot of control. Smoggy, though, with it. Oh, okay. Never mind. No, no. Never mind whatsoever. That has just been a, a slaughter to middle that could definitely make things a little bit more interesting. Trying to almost bait with the shots. Ow, oh, and they haven't actually seen it. Already first duel going their way, but nice work from Haldong. Smoggy as well, combining. Desperately low on HP, but they've managed to weather the storm, hold them back that little bit longer. Leaving just two players remaining. Make it one. It is a clean sweep. Only nobody lost. They made the right call rather than being blitzed on. Karen has such a good angle for the rotate through. I, there's no way Chichu could have expected that. Yeah, it's the orchestrator, the conductor from the back of the gun barrel spotted. To bring out these players from the back line is going to be impossible. Bear in mind, they've got snake bite lineups. They could use a gravity well, but I don't think they're even going to need it. Picking this team apart, Smoggy at least has found one, but here comes those lineups. Anybody even gets close to that spike, and they've already spotted both players. Meteor's blinded himself, but it doesn't even matter. And now the Grabwell's also caught out Smoggy. A clean take from Gen G. Already low. He's about to come under some serious pressure, and at least support has began to rotate in. And Smoggy actually pushing into his own util to try and just get anything there, and it's so easy. They are making this look. Like a walk in the park, or maybe a walk along the beach. To one, the question, how many rifles can EDG carry through to the next round? Already one is spotted towards the elbow, and there's the crunch coming in from Meteor. He gets one, and there's more players on yeah, the way. Where do you go? They're willing to commit. <laughs> They're boxing him in. Chichu knows his only chance is to come out swinging to try and take the fight before they pincer him. From Karen, there's really not a lot going for this defensive side, even though it's a 5v4. The odds are stacked against them. Yeah, so much needs to happen, and I don't even know uh, if they're gonna get anything again! Khan 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 with no gun in hand, and Karen is just doing so much damage, devastation. Smoggy at least, it's just exit kills. Over on EDG. The team that didn't fear Gen G are just getting ruined by... You see a retake wall on B. One that lets them get close from middle and then pop. No! I, 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 he's out, okay, cool. Oh, oh no, no, he's not! No. <laughs> oh, he's been hunted! Oh, oh my god, god the damage is huge! I, the, the... Nobody's gonna try. He's got some support, but again, there's a smoke to deny them a meteor in an aggressive position. Just doesn't seem to be missing a beat. Stolen away by Karen in the end, but... <laughs> Even being played with by an opponent. You can see just trying to make this awkward, try and make this confusing, and there's Texture. Even still though, Khan Khan has managed to take him down. It so far has been unusual. A deep mid position from nobody, but looks away. Just as they make the cross, the entire team comes out, and then Khan Khan peeks into the lot of them. 
Finally, we see. There's Cypher a Cypher. Cypher. He got a tag, Tom. He got a tag. It's because they're finally going B. That doesn't happen very oh. often. It doesn't matter, though. They're still losing every single fight ahead of them. Chichu. Probably gobsmacked that they've actually entered into the B site. I don't know where he's hoping to go here. They're so ready for it. He can't win. He does at least manage to drop the player planting, but it's off. They've already planted. And while just as every other round goes, it is 10 1. Pretty unique. Oh, Meteor taking space. There hasn't been a battle or a brawl in this round. EDG have played a little bit more passive. It doesn't make a damn difference. They're being battered. Khan Khan again tries to be the hero, but this time and every time he has been shut down. How long, Chi Chu? Well, there's nothing they could do. A nice shot at least. He'll know where they are. But knowing and doing anything about it. It's going to be another thing altogether. The plant not the safest, but that's cover. They didn't even need the plant in the end. It is 11 to 1. Take the crown. Still, the players up against them are not ones that you can be foolish, that you can give chances to, and they have struggled on this defensive time before. EDG clearly not giving up just yet, but this man in pistol rounds is devastating as ever. Using Fnatic's pistol, you'll have to channel some of that energy, and then some. <laughs> yeah, you need more than that. <laughs> <laughs> well, another pulse. When the wall goes down, Kankan might have an opportunity to spray away. Good spray through. It's dealing some damage. Texture's forced back. Caught by nobody. This is a good look for the side of EDG. Trading out one after another. We said they needed to win this bonus, and it looks like they've got it oh, locked down. But Meteor yeah, has a free kill. And it's been left to a 1v2. Very winnable for Meteor. TP, I love this. A mistake at this stage, and even Kankan. One of the most confident players decides it's not worth it. Smart stuff from EDG, not going to overextend, and here we go. 11 to 5. EDG starting to bridge the gap, and that's one hell of a way to kick off the buy round. Go up and the push to come through. Texture, no dash. Uh oh. He's been silenced, suppressed, but he still fires back. 23 HP, though, and the players are quickly circling him, encircling him, I should say. And finally taking him down. Munchkin and Karen to do it all. Nice shot by Karen. There's an opportunity. If he can buy some time, the flank will catch another off guard. And now it's winnable again. Gen G has suddenly found legs in the round, but a snake fight in hand leads to Munchkin's death. Karen has to clutch this alone. He's keeping his opponent behind the pyramid, but nobody jumps up top to take him down. Viper utility to block them on the retake, but the fight is taken instead. Munchkin blinded up completely, but Khan Khan can't get it done with Karen on the side. Three kills quickly found, and even the blade storm frag on the flanker. Easy peasy for Gen G. They had a real handle on this round from the get go. And loud. These are teams that have all been within top four at international events. Now they look to beat the China number one, a team again who's been in the playoffs before, and this time it's looking like it might be theirs. Just two kills away from creating history for their organization within Valorant. And it's looked like it is done and dusted. Genji will be the second team to make it through to the playoffs. For Lakia, it is a return to greatness.